Hello, my name is Pastor Andy Schreier from Redeemer Lutheran Church. Every so often, my wife gives me a look. Most people can't see it, but I know the look. I can see it. When I say or do something in public that I shouldn't, she looks straight at me, and in her eyes, I can see she's not happy with me. Nobody else can see it. She may even be smiling at the time, but I know I'm in trouble. On the night before Jesus died, Jesus gave a look. See, Peter, his disciple, was there in the patio of the, the high priest as Jesus was on trial. And Jesus had warned Peter. He told him that before the rooster crowed, Peter would deny knowing him three times. But Peter swore he never would. He would rather die with Jesus than deny him. But as the rooster crowed early Good Friday morning and the words of Peter's third denial echoed into the night, Jesus turned and looked straight at Peter. I've often wondered what that look would have looked like. Did Jesus look at Peter like my wife looks at me when I've messed up? Or maybe it was, a, was it more of a disapproving look a parent gives their child when they're misbehaving in church? Or maybe it was a look of simply, I told you so. I would suspect it was a look with, mixed with sadness and concern. You know, the look a, a parent gives their adult child who is making poor life choices, a look of, of disappointment and sorrow, a look of hurt and love. But whatever the look, it went right through Peter. Immediately, Peter remembered Jesus' warning. Immediately, he realized what he had done. Immediately, he was filled with, with remorse and regret. So Peter ran out and wept bitterly. He repented. Later, after Jesus' resurrection, we find Jesus assuring Peter that he was forgiven. Because you see, that's what our Christian faith is all about. Our Christian faith is about God loving us so much that he willingly went to the cross to suffer the look of his father's disappointment, the look of, of God's disapproval, the look of God's anger for all the times we, like Peter, have failed and fallen. On the cross, God the Father directed his anger against God the Son for all the bad things we've done. But because he did, we are forgiven. Because he did, we will never receive an angry look from our Heavenly Father. When we turn to God and tell him we're sorry, he will never respond with a look of anger or I told you so. He will look at us with love and concern. He will look at what his son suffered for us and will forgive us completely and forever. When God gave the, his, Moses the Ten Commandments on Mount Sinai, he told him to tell his brother Aaron to speak a blessing over God's people. It went like this. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Because of what Jesus did for us on that first Good Friday, God's face shines on all those who believe in him. He looks at us with a loving and approving smile. Because of Jesus, that is the way God looks at you.